The Milky Workbench is a tool for exploring the atomic and molecular world. It was our goal to have kids be as familiar with the microscopic world as they were with the macroscopic world. I was a chemistry teacher and I struggled with the fact that I had this picture in my head of this dynamic atomic and molecular world where atoms and molecules are flying around at incredible speeds and colliding and exchanging energy and reacting and doing all kinds of stuff. And what I had available were, you know, pictures and books. This tool allows the students to deeply change their perspective and, and learn this in a way that they can't do any other way. We know that if we put any controls in the program, the student will start by going to the hottest, the coldest, the craziest, you know, and see if they can break it, which is actually the best way to learn. The molecular workbench has a bunch of computational engines. These engines use what we call first principles from science, and they are called first principles because they are the really the fundamental equations that detects how things work in the corresponding domain of science. This really covers everything from, I would say, middle school up through advanced uh, college level subjects and across all fields of science. We have chemical reaction simulations. We have simulations of transcription and translation so students can play with DNA and mutate it and see how that changes the protein and what form and function it might have when it gets produced. We have some quantum simulations in which you can look at scanning tunneling, microscopes and other kinds of quantum effects. What we are finding is a really uh interesting level of retention. I mean, six to nine months after kids have used the materials, I have actually called them on the phone and said, okay, so what do you remember? And that's all I've said and have been really impressed by the level and depth of their memory. Well, the software is quite popular from the Molecular Workbench site itself. It's been downloaded over 800,000 times. We have recently been awarded what's called the SPORE Prize, which is the Science Prize for Online Resources and Education by AAAS, American Association for the Advancement of Science, which for us was uh, a wonderful acknowledgement of uh, work well done and that it's useful in education. We are hoping to not only give students a digital textbook, but also give them a digital lab. And what is more important is that this lab actually is embedded right in the middle of the digital textbook. Students will be able to look at what other students are doing. I tried this experiment, what did you get? How did that work? We really envision this as tying together um, explorations and collaborations within the classroom. It's, it's going to be just a given that this is a regular tool that will be part of learning science.